It was uh, Camp Evans, who was uh, actually stationed out of. Was out like 30 days at a time. And I remember the first time I got shot at, that was uh, actually my first mission, first day out. We landed, high, uh, walked into a place where we set up, you know, set up camp for the night. And uh, just right at dark, bang, 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 bang. They started shooting at us. And that was it, you know, it was, that's when I got my CIV, I guess, first night. <laughs> first trip out. Yeah, this one time we was on a mission in Nam and uh, come across a little radio. Said he's in my rucksack. What? It's in my rucksack. What's in your rucksack? A gorilla! <laughs> and it was a big old monkey that got in his, he has got in his, uh, in the sack there, he was taking stuff out. <laughs> that was kind of funny that night. I was about eight years old. A uh, friend of the family bought a, uh, a motorcycle from uh, the police department. One of those big with a suicide clutch, you know, on the side of the tank. Yeah, and uh, he took me for a ride. We went over the, uh, the Jackson Avenue Viaduct over the National Cemetery in Memphis. He was doing 110 at the top of it. I hadn't been on one since. I've been looking you know, around everybody driving these motorcycles and looking good and well, I'm gonna try to ride one, you know. Mr. Dan? Hey, you gonna get the fish? Dan Rogers, is, his wish was to take a motorcycle ride on a Harley. So I came here, I made arrangements with Sandy and Dan. I put the word out on our Facebook site Little did I know that it would leak into two or three more states. And the loyalty and the brotherhood of combat veterans showed up here in strength. And we're taking him and his wife on a ride that he's never gonna forget. I said, all, all I want is just a little motorcycle ride, you know, just, you know, just me and a motorcycle, you know, just, why this thing got so big? But these, uh, all these veterans are, my brothers in arms, so to speak, yeah. I don't know, I don't think, I don't have any words to express how I feel about it. I don't know, it just, uh, this makes me happy and I just almost want to cry. This is for you. Oh, for you. oh wow. I just, uh, proud of all these guys that, uh, that, that do this for veterans. Real proud of them. Give every one of them a hug when I, you know, as soon as I can, you know, and thank them. This is gonna be one heck of a ride, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make a liars out of those doctors. I'm not gonna pay any attention to them. They said three to four months. I wanna see my granddaughter walk down the aisle. That's my goal.